Welcome back to Hardware Unbox. Today's video is a bit of an informative one if you're deciding what sort of laptop you need. We'll be comparing the Core i7-8750H against the Core i7-8550U in a wide range of productivity workloads to see how these two 8th gen parts stack up. This should give you an idea of how much faster the 8750H is and whether you need the power provided by this H series CPU relative to the more power efficient 8550U. Before getting into the numbers, let's talk specifications. The Core i7-8750H is an 8th gen Coffee Lake CPU for high performance mobile devices. It has a 45 watt TDP and for that you get 6 cores, 12 threads and 9 megabytes of L3 cache. There's a base clock of 2.2 GHz but it can boost up to 4.1 GHz on up to 2 cores, 4.0 GHz on 4 cores and 3.9 GHz on 6 cores. The Core i7-8550U is a KB Lake refresh CPU that sits in Intel's 8th gen lineup. It's designed for low to medium power ultra portable laptops packing 4 cores and 8 threads into a 15 watt TDP plus 8 megabytes of L3 cache. The base clock is a rather low 1.8 GHz though it boosts up to 4 GHz on up to 2 cores and 3.7 GHz on 4 cores. Obviously the key difference here is the core count with the 8750H getting two extra cores at similar clocks to the 8550U. However the integrated GPU in both chips is very similar. The 8750H uses Intel's UHD 630 while the 8550U uses the UHD 620 but both GPUs have the same 24 execution units so the only real difference is GPU clock speed. In any case as the i7-8750H is often paired with a discrete GPU, graphics workloads and gaming isn't really a focus of this comparison. Our i7-8750H test system is the Gigabyte Aero 15X which we've reviewed previously on the channel if you're interested. For these tests we've disabled the discrete NVIDIA GeForce GTX 1070 Max-Q GPU and we've also upgraded the system to 16 gig of dual channel DDR4 memory. For our i7-8550U test systems we have two laptops, one is the Dell XPS 13 which is configured to use the 8550U's maximum 25 watt TDP upstate, the other is the Razor Blade Stealth which uses a standard 15 watt configuration. Let's get into the benchmarks and we'll start with Cinebench R15. Here the 8750H holds an enormous 83% performance lead over the 25W 8550U which is down to having 50% more cores and increased capacity for higher clocks. The clock speed discrepancy grows with the 15W 8550U. Here the 8750H holds a 124% advantage so it's more than twice as fast. The 8750H holds a much more modest performance lead in the single threader test. It's 9% faster than the 15 watt variant and 7% faster than the 25 watt variant. The 8750H holds a similarly large performance advantage in X264 encoding. Looking at the more intensive second pass, the 8750H is a good 87% faster than the 8550U's 25 watt variant and 116% faster than the 15 watt variant. Roughly speaking, the Coffee Lake processor provides double the performance in rendering tasks, which is critical for those that want to edit or render videos on these sorts of laptops. The delta between the two CPUs is slightly smaller in handbrake while rendering X265 videos but it's still pretty large. The 8750H is 106% faster than the 15W variant and 77% faster than the 25W variant of the 8550U. XL is a short workload that completes in a few seconds so here the fast boosting 8550U can narrow the margin to a decent extent. That said, the 8750H is still faster than the 25W variant to the tune of 56% and as our 15 watt test system actually manages higher burst clocks due to different tuning, it narrows the margin to an even 50%. What about Adobe Premiere? Well, in our 4K video rendering benchmark with some GPU accelerated effects but no Lumetri color in this instance, the 8750H holds a significant 61% performance lead on the 15 watt 8550U and a 57% lead on the 25 watt model. MATLAB is highly memory bandwidth dependent with modern CPUs in basic processing tasks like FFTs and ODEs, hence why the difference between the 8750H and 8550U is so small. We're only looking at a 5-7% performance lead to the 8750H compared to the 8550U. 
It's a different story in 7-zip. The 8750H manages to outperform the 15 watt 8550U by 42% in compression and 66% in decompression in this workload. As the Dell XPS test system we have doesn't reach as high burst clocks in short workloads, again to different tuning as I mentioned earlier, the 8750H holds a huge 82% performance lead in compression and 105% in decompression. It's important to note that tuning does affect how the 8550U performs in these sort of short workloads, so the range of results you can see here is pretty common. Unfortunately, I couldn't get PC Mark 10 to run on the Dell XPS 13, but we can see how the 8750H performs relative to the 15 watt 8550U in this test. Looking at the overall score, the 8750H is 14% faster, though it does manage a 31% performance lead in the productivity workload. Performance is near identical in the digital content creation workload, and that's likely due to a GPU bottleneck. In Adobe Photoshop, while applying an iris blur to a large image, the 8750H was 25% faster than the 15 watt 8550U and 19% faster than the 25 watt variant. This is one of the smaller performance deltas, but it does still give the 8750H a convincing performance advantage. If you're interested in iGPU performance, I will briefly mention some 3D Mark results. In the CloudGate test, we see the 8750H take a 5% lead on the 25 watt 8550U and a 16% lead on the 15 watt variant. Most of this is down to a superior CPU score with a near identical GPU score, but in the more GPU limited Skydiver test, this lead is eradicated, which isn't a surprise as the integrated GPU in both chips is basically the same. So we've now seen how the i7-8750H stacks up against the i7-8550U and the results probably won't come as a massive surprise. When you pit a 45 watt CPU with more cores against a 15 watt CPU designed for low power systems, the 45 watt CPU should win in every scenario and by a large margin. The biggest performance gains in favor of the 8750H are seen in video rendering and other long workloads. So if you're thinking of purchasing a laptop for video editing, the 8750H could give you double the performance in some cases. Intel's H-series CPUs are designed for these sorts of professional workloads and it shows. In shorter multi-core workloads like Excel and archive decompression, the performance difference between the two CPUs is closer to the difference in core count as both CPUs manage similar burst clock speeds. Still, with 50% more cores in the 8750H, that translates to around 50% more performance. Where you won't see as significant performance gains is in single-threaded tests, where the 8750H only has a single-digit performance lead on the 8550U, and in integrated graphics performance where both GPUs are basically identical. What CPU is right for you will depend on the sort of things you plan to do. Professionals that want to render videos, work with large images, compile code, run simulations and so forth will be much better off with the i7-8750H, particularly if these tasks are multi-threaded. However, if you are just planning on browsing the web, editing documents or basic spreadsheets and doing some light photo editing, the i7-8550 is perfectly fine, particularly as these less intensive tasks tend to be more single threaded, where the 8550U competes strongly with the 8750H. That's it for this quick CPU comparison. If you like this video, don't forget to give it a thumbs up, subscribe for more, support us on Patreon if you feel like it, and I'll catch you in the next one.